Okay, let's take a look at the risk profile. This is the, it's like the condensation of the test. Um, in a general perspective and we see food poisoning at the top here at 250 and immune system closely following at 245 stress and sugar regulation you might not think dog a dog would have sugar regulation issues but apparently this one does have and some heredity factors and infection factors all these in the red over 100 are stress factors contributing to the whole picture of the stress so what we're going to do is we're going to click a couple of these and see if we can do a little electrophysiological therapy and so Atoms are all, the atoms in your body are all connected by electrons. And so, and or the animal's body, so the electrons are basically around the atoms are kind of holding everything together. And that's sort of what we're working on here. Professor Nelson used to quite often say, um, nothing is touching anything else because electrons are around every atom. And so that's why the electrophysiological therapy works. It's working uh, through the electrons in the body. So here we see, hmm, it's like some kidney stress. Ginseng, Siberian ginseng is recommended. Looks like some chiropractic could be in order. Chromosome 7P. Constipation. And then we see what is this? Warts, rigid nails, stomach is the most possible most stressed organ linked to the thymus, okay, immune system. And let's see, chromium for sugar regulation, ascorbic acid. So this, I always do this a couple of times just because it encompasses a lot. This is the virtual DR and it encompasses quite a bit of things. Um, 
we have the prayer wheel working so I'm after I do some initial things like homotoxicology um, I'm going to just leave the device running while I eat dinner and make another movie so here's the affirmation it looks like realize that life has good and bad happy and sad and I love and respect all life as it presents all of its challenges so that's a good affirmation and so we're going to go here homotoxicology or environmental toxins uh oh okay there we go now let's click info exchange first and then we go to xenobiotics and we see that beauty shop toxins metabolic error asbestos food poisoning environmental halogens industrial pollution insecticides these all came up high so what we're going to do is do a little bit of electrophysiological therapy and so let's see where do I want to go here I I usually do this twice just because it also does a lot so we got bacteria coming up pretty high it's two 235 fungus two, 226 prions or 234 amoeba 208 so you have halogens coming up 206 and the halogens and chlorine and fluoride and fluoride is in almost everything nowadays anything with anything that's grown with fluoridated water is most undoubtedly going to have excess amounts of fluoride in it I would imagine heavy metals came up 279 radiation 274 pharmaceutical pharmaceutical pharmaceuticals 248 98% rec rectified okay so let's see if I can remember how to do this um Okay, we're gonna we're gonna close out of here. And then here we go. Time therapies is where we're going. Virtual harmonic therapy, virtual super learning. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that on for a while and 
I might go into the aura. For some reason, I have an inclination to go into the aura. After I let this run for a while. Okay, so I let this run for about a half hour. And so it says therapy over. And usually when it does this, um, <clears throat> the uh, software kind of has a mind of its own and it kind of knows what to do until it starts to alarm. I'm going to do some more work with this one here. Okay, what, let's go into nutrition. Okay, so we see protein digestion is coming up high, so there's, and stomach had come up before, so there's some digestive problems going on. Carbo carbohydrate digestion is 240. Um, vitamin C is 178. So, anything over a hundred is a concern. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to, I'm going to close this out. Universal Biofeedback Therapy. And then we're going to here but I don't want to go there yet okay we're going to electrophysiological oscillation and then we're going to this one here scroll over subspace morphic morphic transfer and we're going to start. And this does a little extra for the subspace. Subspace morphic transfer.
So I think I think I may try and go into um I may try trying to go into long term um a long-term program and just leave it running some more Now, if you take an AM radio or an FM radio and put it near this device, you will you will hear certain frequencies coming off in between your radio stations. And I believe I've done this on my one some one of my other videos. And you can hear certain frequencies coming off the device when. Um, it's doing therapy. And so let's see, I wanted to go into let's see. Let's, okay, so we got Some things happening here. Uh, looks like disturbance in uh, dimensional fifth mental plane, fifth dimensional fifth mental plane. Disturbance in the dimensional seventh astral plane. Okay, so we're just gonna. Close out of that. And then let's see. And we're going to we're going back to universal biofeedback therapy. And then we're gonna run Now this is the meridian therapy. I didn't actually want to go here, but I went here anyway. Um, I wanted to wanted to do. Well, I think I can go to auto frequency therapy next. And so let's see. Yeah, well, I know I can, I can go to uh, NLP and to build enlightenment power. So. Um, I can set the time for enlightenment powers and or um, basic NLP therapy.
So let's see, this is this is meridian therapy right now. I think I'm going to wind this video down here now. But thanks a lot for watching. And if you need any help, you can contact me. Please subscribe to my channel. And thanks again for watching. Okay, so this is the aura, aura scan. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Uh, scan all. Okay, got an excellent. That must be a good thing. And we're just going to try and go through this a little bit until the chakras get a little bit more lined up. I'm not sure why this program doesn't automatically continue until they line up, but it could be because it's waiting for the client's reaction to give the feedback to the system so that it uh, can tell that it's not too much stress for the client. Okay, that's quite a bit better. Got another excellent. So let's try the cybernetic connect correction down here. Since we're working with subspace, I do these ethereal things. Um, the aura and things. Okay, so we need to go up here to the TF key and make sure the colors are back in the aura. And this might take a while. Uh. 
Now the chakras are lining up better now you can see Let's try this aura cleanse. Okay, you can see that it says <clears throat> we're set and we have high mm. see uh how do we set this lower? lower. Okay, well, thanks again for watching, and I think I'm going to sign it off for now again.